What is up you guys, P.T. Carlo here, and today we're going to be talking about trading view. This is probably one of those videos, it's not going to get a ton of views, but the goal of this is not to like push the algorithm, it's just to help some of you guys who are newer to trading, who really need to learn to use trading view to the best of your ability. This is one of my favorite platforms to trade on, I used to trade only on Thinkorswim, and I still like Thinkorswim, I honestly just think that sharing charts on this is a lot easier for somebody who is an educator in this space like myself self as well. I just think that it looks better. And I know that that sounds a little bit ridiculous because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter of how, how good or bad something ends up looking, right? That's, that's not the goal of this, but I did want to actually end up going through how I set up my charts, exactly what I do and just some pointers and tips for this. So if you haven't already hit the like button subscribe check out our discord we have a community discord with over 3500 members it's completely free the link is in the description and one thing i would say that if you are newer to trading or you want to know my exact setup I actually made an entire course on it. It's completely free. You go to the courses and seminars section. And if you scroll up, you'll see a part that says technical analysis course. This is the technical analysis mastery course that we put out a couple of months ago. It teaches you everything that you need to learn about technical analysis and exactly how I set up everything within my trading view. So I highly recommend that you go and check that out. Now, let's go back and let's talk about trading view. Now, the easiest way that I can kind of break this down is into four major areas. You have this area here on the left, which is going to be all your tools to draw and, uh, you know, perform your technical analysis. I have mine set to the smallest because I don't like having it sitting out here. The right side is going to be your watch list and not only your watch list, but anywhere that you're going to set alerts. This could also be like all of your news, but basically your hub for most of your trading information. Now, something I'm not going to go over too much is actually this bottom area, but but you can make some text notes on a stock. You can actually use the screener that's built in here. You can actually use a strategy tester if you want to test a specific strategy that you're working on. And there's a lot of cool stuff down here. You can actually trade with it if you use like TradeStation or any of these other companies, which I, I don't use. But if you are somebody who does use these, you can actually end up setting your broker here so that you can end up taking positions through this. I actually don't end up using this bottom part. I don't really use scanners. A lot of people ask me about them, but I really actually don't end up using scanners. So I really never touch this bottom piece. So Let's start with the right part here because this is probably the most important. This top one is going to be your watch list. So if you click in and out, this is going to show you your watch list to pop up. You can have multiple ones. I have an alpha gold one. I have an active one, which is like basically all of the indexes that I watch. And then I also have a uh, normal options alert one. So if I see like some good flow on something that doesn't specifically, you know, meet my criteria for a high conviction trade, I usually end up throwing it within this watch list. Now, the second part is everything that basically all the alerts that you have set. So any alerts that came through, it's going to come into this area here. It's going to show you any of your stop losses, anything, you know, take profits, anything that you end up putting here. It's going to be under this. Third one is going to be your news. And I will be quite honest, this news section, I really don't use that much. I more so use the black box section, but this is where you're going to find any news that you end up liking. This part is going to be your data window. So this is going to show you quickly your open, high, low, close, change rate, RSI, close, MACD, close, all of that. Another thing I really don't end up using that much because visually I do. This is going to be your hot list. So this is going to be like the highest moving stocks within like a certain sector. Um, you know, basically you can change these to a bunch of different things. Gap gainers, gap losers, percentage gainers, volume gainers, etc. Once again, I really don't use those either because I am a flow trader and I like to keep things relatively simple. But if you are somebody like that, you can do that. There is an ideas section, which is actually pretty cool. So if you guys are part of my, you know, uh, discord, you know that I post a lot of trade ideas and you can actually end up posting like a whole trade idea here. You can make it public and then you can actually share this with like a specific group that you're trading with or something. It's a really cool feature, but once again, I don't really use it. There's a public chat section to be quite honest. I don't use this either. There's also a uh, private chat section. I don't use an idea stream, normal live streams, notification center, and then like an order panel down here. So the main thing I use is just going to be the watch list and the news. That's really all I end up using personally. Up here, if you hit this hamburger in the top left section, which for some reason you guys are unable to see. Let me see if I can actually move my OBS. Yeah, there we go. So you can see this hamburger up here where it says eight. This is going to be basically your layouts. You can have multiple layouts. So I have a day trade layout. I also have a uh, normal main trading layout. So if we go to the one minute, this is going to have like my VWAP, et cetera, et cetera, um, which I actually don't have set up right now. 
but this is going to be my day trading setup. If we go back, we go to my main layout. I actually don't have any of my uh, indicators on right now, except for RSI and MACD. So I'm going to teach you how to set them up. But you can see here, it's going to have your auto save, your sharing. You can rename a certain one. This is going to be your name. You're also going to have the theme so you can turn it from dark to light, your drawing panels if you want to see them, etc. Now, the left piece over here, this is going to be all of your drawing tools. So you can pick a cross, you can pick a dot. I like to use the crosshair. Then you can also use your major drawing lines. So you can do trend lines, arrows, info, uh, info lines, horizontal lines. And where you see these stars, these are everything. All you have to do is just hover over, click add to favorite, remove from favorite. And if you look at the top right where it says main layout up here, you're going to see it's going to add and subtract from my favorite. So this is my favorite section for me. I like to keep a trend line. I like to keep a horizontal line. I like to keep a channel and I like to keep a Fibonacci retracement. There's also an info line, which I like to use because the info line is going to show you like uh, what percentage is this movement, etc. I use a box. I use a uh, text. So if I want to like write something next to a chart, if I'm like teaching something to one of the private mentorship students, I use that. I also have a volume profile that I end up using and then a brush so that I can, you know, say hi. I'm just kidding. No, but those are mainly what I use depending upon what type of trader you are. That's what you're going to end up picking. Um, this, this one down here is going to have a lot more tools, not just straight up drawing. So fib retracements, uh, pitchforks, shift pitchforks, GAN, GAN square, GAN fixed square, none of the stuff that I really end up using that much. Fib wedges. Then you have more drawing tools down here, which is going to be like your brush, could be a highlighter. There's tons of stuff over here. You have text boxes, notes, price notes, arrows, flags, etc. And basically everything you're going to need here, some Elliott waves, if you're somebody who uses Elliott waves, volume profile, forecasting. So I'm not really actually sure how you use this forecast, but um, depending upon how you are, this is where you're going to find everything. Now, I also have a replay section. So if you want to replay the day or the bar, you can actually go through and hit a replay to practice. There's a financial section, which is going to actually show you like the financials of a company. Now for me personally, like I really don't use this. I would way rather use something like simply wall street, but if you are interested, you can actually end up doing that. There's a compare chart. So you can compare one symbol to the next. There's a section up here where you hit bars, where you can change it to like a normal bar, candlesticks, hollow candles, which a lot of people actually end up using areas they have lines um they have a bunch of different stuff which i just you know i'm very vanilla i use the candles this is your time frame this is where you type in your ticker uh and the most important things which you guys are probably looking for is your indicators so you click the indicator list type in whatever you want it to be ema you can hit moving uh average exponential if you double click that it's going to pop up i'm actually just going to unhide my emas i use two of them and like i said if you take the technical analysis mastery course it's going to show you all of my stuff and all my setup but once it's here to change any of the things that you have set up here whether it's emas smas vwaps anything you're just going to double click on it so if i double click it's going to come up the input i have an 11 day em here or ema here i use my closed source for this i don't use an offset if you go to style i like purple pick whatever color you like and visibility i obviously keep it on the default here so if you guys have any specific questions about trading view please let me know i'd like to respond to them in the comment section if not make sure you go join our discord it's completely free link in the description and on top of that too take the technical analysis mastery course it's one of the best courses out there it's completely for free it's about two hours long so it's nothing insane but it will give you the basic foundation of how to actually trade using technical analysis and how specifically i set up my trading so guys thanks for all the support have a great day and i'll see you tomorrow